Hey everyone, this is Lucky70X. Welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Heart Gold Random Nuzlocke. In the last episode, we did the Fuchsia City Gym. Jenny was a big pain in the ass. Double team should be banned for reasons. In this episode, we have a lot of catching to do this time because, uh, well, we're going to be heading up this route, basically. So we have one, two, three, four, but, well, one, two, three, four, five different routes to catch you in before we even get to the next town. So uh, if I catch anyone within the next few episodes, I'll start training them probably once I get to Lavender Town. If they're worthwhile, um, if not, we'll see, but I'm going to cut till I get some I can catch. And you're someone I can catch. Uh, Sableye... Sableye is an interesting Pokemon. Uh, obviously a lot more interesting when it came to, uh, first gen. Or fifth gen, sorry. Um, when it got its, uh, its... Pr uh, the prankster ability. But a lot... Man, this is annoying. Fake out and detect. You're just gonna be a pain in the butt, aren't you? Um, it's a cool Pokemon, but not really worth a lot on the team, unfortunately. But, um, he's, he's a cool guy. Oh no! My smoke ball! It's a good thing that doesn't actually, like, hold forever, because that would suck. But, uh, yeah, he's a cool guy, but, uh, not going to make it on the team. It's gonna take a very specific sort of person to make it on my team at this point. Um, a very rare kind of, of Pokemon. There's, there's basically just a certain slot I'm looking forward for, and otherwise it's just not gonna make the cut. Um, ah, they didn't kill, I'm glad. Uh, no, no, no. Don't want to do more. Uh, just gonna go ahead and catch it. Um... Can I just get it a... Uh, you know, just go for Ultra. I don't want to waste time. Basically, uh, yeah. So, Sableye, he's a guy. He's not afraid of anything. But, uh, I'm not looking for... Like I said, I'm really looking for Electric and Fire types. And Rock types. Those are, like, the three slot... I, I, fire types aren't even that important. Because Typhlosion's a, a, a good enough. Like, there's not many Fire types that are better than Typhlosion. So, you know what? Electric and Rock types. Those are the slots I really need to fill. Uh, yes, I do want to name him after someone. I'm going to name him after... And that's because I'm looking for, um, ahead in the future, though. And, uh... Faulkner, the rematch. I do not really have many Pokemon that actually can, uh... Are, can actually stop flying types very well. Could probably use one of those, because I don't have any Electric or Rock types that can really do well with that. So... Just for shits and giggles, let's go ahead and check the stats on Haydun. Um, I named him Haydun because even though uh, he's more of a competitive Pokemon player, he apparently is doing a Heart Gold uh, random Nuzlocke or did one. Um, so I figured he would get a shout, uh, just a, a, a name, just for that reason. Also, I hope the recording's kind of, uh, is okay. Naughty is actually kind of funny, isn't that like plus attack minus special defense? Yeah, whatever. Um, he just doesn't really have anything that's worth my time. Anyway. Um, what was I saying? Uh, yeah, I have different... I'm using the, the, the settings I use to record Kirby Mass Attack uh, in terms of like my actual screen recorder. So I'm going to see if it turns out better. Um, if not, then uh, sorry if the quality is like, worse in any way or something. I don't know if like the frame rate is going to be better or worse by doing it this way. So we'll see. Anyway, we have yet another Pokemon to catch, though. So let's just go ahead and you know get that out of the way right now. And I have lots of names. I, I got lots of names. Hello! Hello, Bonsley. Uh, speaking of rock types, you could be interesting. I don't know the stats on Suter One if he's actually a very good Pokemon or not. That's kind of funny to actually get a Pseudo Wooda, though, given that um, given the fact that I was wasn't I briefly like talking about the Pseudo Wooda back when I caught it a few uh, like before I started Kanto. That's kind of funny. Anyway, um. I need to look up the specifics for Pseudo Widow, so I'm not going to promise anything, because I, I need to see uh, exactly how he works. But, uh, maybe. An ass is going to kill. You know what? Let's just see if I can catch it like this. Um, that being said, I do have to raise him like 27 levels, which is also going to be a pain in the ass. So we'll see what else I catch in this route. I don't want to be training more than like one or two Pokemon tops. And those two Pokemon better be stellar. So. We'll see, but no promises there. But cool, we got a Bonsly. I'm okay with this. Uh, yes, why do we keep going down to no? What the heck? Anyway, I'm gonna name him after Blue Zephos. Um, well, I actually do his whole name. I was gonna just call him Blue. Actually, I'm just gonna call him Blue, because that's funny. But, um, he's Blue Zephos. Uh, 
not an LPR I watch, but an LPR Live you guys, a lot of you guys recommended, so I figured that would be worth the time. Anyway, let's put someone who can actually battle, because I don't I gave up on Odin, obviously. Uh, Toucans is not level uh, 50 yet, so we'll throw him in here and see what he can do. Hello! You apparently want to fight me! Hang on! No, don't phone your mom! She will never, ever stop calling you if you do. Don't do it, man. It's a tarp! Also knows a trap. That's okay. Um, let's just go ahead and sky uppercut some balls. Because I don't know about you, but when I see some balls, I just want to uppercut them because I'm a... Seriously? Is that, is that the kind of game we're going to play here? The one where you paralyze me for no reason because it's mean? Because I don't appreciate that, really. Like, it's not really... I'm not a fan of that proposition, really. So, yeah, let's not paralyze my Hitmonchan, please. I guess I'll just go back after uh, this. I'll just, I'll just head back. We're so close to the town anyway, and that way I can check up on Bonsley's uh, statistics while we are there, and that'd be kind of cool. So, I suppose we shall try that. Indeed. So anyway, Toucan's going to level up after this one right here. Uh, but I'll keep him in anyway, because everyone's level 50 at this point, so I may as well get someone to 51. Uh, training is going to be a pain in the ass coming up. Oh boy, not looking forward to that, but, uh, oh well, level 50, it's a good experience, and all is well, so, there we go. I was half expecting Mom to call after that, I'm kind of surprised she didn't. So here's Bonsley, alas, his attack has been lowered, which is unfortunate, because that really neuters his power, neuters his chances to be on the team. Alas, I still need a rock type. Why am I getting like Pokemon of like the worst natures possible at this point? That makes me really sad. I forgot to heal. Alright, more fights. Let's do this. Back on Route 15 or something, whatever route this route is. It's a silly route, that's what it is. I think it's 15, because I think it's like 16, 17, 18 cycling road or something like that. Something like that. Anyway, it's a Jatu, which is like which can hit me twice in two different ways for super effective damage, but I can hit him with an Ice Punch or a Thunder Punch and kill him, so who cares? Um, I like him on Chan. He's such a versatile Pokemon. Really glad I have one. Alakazam! He's a problem. And he goes first, and he sets up a Reflect. I should not have stayed in on Alakazam, but I think I can get him low enough where a Mach Punch can kill him if this doesn't kill by itself, which actually, no... Oh, I can't. Dare I stay in? I dare, because I'm a daredevil. And for some reason, he goes for a fighting move instead. I question your logic, Sir Alakazam. As that did not verily, verily, verily scratch the surface. I'm not sure why I just said that in such a weird way, but I did. And I think I actually would have lived a Psychic from an Alakazam. Because if Focus Blast is 120, and Psychic is, what, 90? 90 times stab is 135. It's not that much more, and I lived. I only took a, a third of my health, really. So, guess I'm going down here. Let's go ahead and just the usual guys, the usual battling everyone within a 10 mile race. I'm hoping to get through the two, like two of the routes today, and I can do two of the routes next time and Lavender Town. That's my general goal. Whether or not that is a lofty goal or a non-lofty goal awaits to be seen. But, um, we'll go with what we can, I guess. I guess that is the plan. Hello, you have an Apom. These battles, I have to admit, are starting to get a bit... Like, this is the part of the game where the game just starts to get a bit repetitive, I guess. Maybe it's, like, after you get... Like, I don't know if it's just me, but, like, for games that like, have, like, post-game stuff after you, like, kind of beat the game, like, about a third to halfway through, it just starts getting boring like black and white after the post game. Well, that's also boring because you had to like, grind like 20 levels to do anything, which is just dumb. But um, a Rose Incense. I know that will get me a Badu from a Roselia, but what do you do otherwise, Mr. Rose Incense? You boost the power of grass type moves. Well, actually, is there any way I can give that to that would be useful? Um, guess not. Maybe like Ludicolo could be something interesting, I guess. 
Um, I'm still on the same route, so no use fighting people. So we'll just go ahead and, you know, do this thing instead. Yes, indeed. Sounds like a good plan. K guy, you have a Pichu riding on top of you. I hope you realize that. And hello, worst Pokemon in the game besides, like, Love Disc. Seriously, spin are just so bad. They're just so bad. I just want to punch them in the freaking face. Murder their souls. I'm a horrible person. I am a horrible, horrible, horrible person. Anyways, uh, Ice Punch will take care of the full beat. And we can move on with our existences once again. It is super effective if it's bug flying, right? No, he's only a bug type. He doesn't have the flying. I'm surprised. You think he'd have the flying. Oh well, doesn't matter. Mock Punch, the end. I do like having priority moves in my Pokemon. It makes life so much easier when you just have a situation where you're like, well, I can go first no matter what, so screw you. Especially when they're 100% accurate. Then it's just like, well, I win. Uh, I knew you were coming. I knew you'd be here. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I know. You're funny, mother. Uh, I don't know if this has gotten funny or annoying at this point. I suppose let me know. You know what? I'm going to save. Because I haven't done that, and I'm, I remember that now that this thing glitches, because I'm still using the emulator for this one. <gasps> I said the E-word, oh no! Alright, moving on. Hello, Mr. Guy. Oh man, you guys are on a school trip. I guess that explains all the kids and the school teachers just running around everywhere. It's we're, we're, we're battling an entire classroom again. That's kind of funny. Anyway, Ice Punch. Hello, Bellsprout. Bye-bye, Bellsprout. It was nice to know you, Bellsprout. Enjoy your trip. And your stay. But seriously, I do need to find a decent counter to... I mean, I have a, de a couple decent counters to Faulkner, and he... I mean, flying types are not the most threatening types in the game. But at the same time, I don't want anything to... I, I want maybe, like, a third one, you know, an Electro-type or a Rock-type. One of the, of the two would make me feel a lot more comfortable. Um, I mean, yeah, I have plenty of options, so I'd probably be able to be fine, but... uh. Toucans wants to learn counter. Well, you know what? I don't want counter, so too bad. Um, that doubles the... Uh, we, we've seen what counter does before, actually. Hello, Weeping Bell. I, Victory Bell, I should just go ahead and switch out into Naka because I don't feel like fighting you, actually. Um, that does not sound like a good time at all. So, I'm not going to. In fact, this is going to do, like, no damage at all because we know what happens against, uh... Grass types, we just wreck them because that's what we do against grass types, we just destroy them. The end, QED. That does not mean the end in the slightest. I'm not sure why I said that, I just said that because what else these. Man, after playing like a more action y sort of game, like a uh, Hurry Master, like, I'm like, man, these RPG LPs have gotten so, like, so, so, like, I don't know. This LP is starting to drag on. I am very much so going to admit that. Um. But people seem to still enjoy it, so we'll ride it out. We'll we will ride it out. Anyway, I guess we should knock it in because he's a cool guy. He doesn't afraid of anything. And uh, are we on a new route yet? I don't think we are, right? Uh, well, I'm, that's not how you get to the route. It's over here. I am not quite. It looks like it actually be right over here. Am I wrong? Yes. So. We'll be able to do that route as well in this video. But uh, for now, we should go ahead and do some more trainers. There's nothing like down here worthwhile. Doesn't look like it. So hello, Mr. Guy. You shall be my opponent. Yeah, I'm not sure if the frame rate is lagging a bit more than usual with this new recording setup. I'm going to have to check that. Probably going to record two videos and then check. So if there are problems, I'll probably persist for the next video or so. But it doesn't seem like it'd be that bad anyway. I'm probably overanalyzing. As you guys have noticed, I tend to overanalyze the quality of my videos a little too much. You guys don't really care that much. You guys are just happy to see a game and see me play it, I've noticed. So, I'm paranoid. It's fun times, really. So the Parasect dies, because four times weakness to, uh, to fly, although if it was a dry skin Parasect, it would have a five times weakness to fire. So he has the most maximum possible weakness to anything, which is kind of funny. I'm just going to go for a Dragon Claw, so we don't have to waste a turn with Fly. Because, you know what? Nuts to that. Because we can kill it off a Dragon Claw, apparently. And that's pretty cool. Dragon, unfortunately, does not have that many weaknesses. Uh, you are a Ditto. You know what? I'm going to let you become me. Because I want you to become me. Because now that you're me, you will be worth a lot more experience. And I can go ahead and switch out, actually. Um, 
Well, because you're not because you're me now, uh, I believe my best option would probably go to Napoleon. I hope he doesn't go for an earthquake, which would be unfortunate. He's gonna go for fly. Cool. You do that. Uh, well, I might as well just lock myself in ice beam. Oh, I, he does go first. That's good. So minimal damage. Oh no, you just did like 17 damage, and I can kill him with ice beam. So. I get to kill my own Pokemon! I like Dittos. They, they can be very valuable if you make them go into something valuable like that. So, uh... Yay. Ooh, five attack. I don't see that very often. It's pretty spiffy. Huh. Okay, yeah. Oh, well, thanks for telling me that. Uh, that That's something I'm going to be explaining later. You can't rematch gym leaders, so, uh... Indeed. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for talking to you. I'm sorry, I'm sorry! Anyway. Uh, more trainers. More school teachers, it looks like. We're just battling the classroom today, guys. It's it's pretty exciting, really. Oh, I didn't switch out. Well that's unfortunate. I forgot to switch. Oh well. Oh no! Clearly this is the end of the world. Now Cliff watch, Cliff is gonna use metronome and kill me. Calling it now. Or gravity. Which this makes this this actually makes uh it makes flying types weak to ground or not weak to ground but uh, able to be hit by ground types and it also uh basically makes moves more accurate. So it's good for moves like dynamic punch and zap can and that only have like fifty percent accuracy. Um, not a bad set for some in some cases, but generally not the best idea either. So let's actually switch out appropriately here to uh, genius. We're actually getting levels decently fast here. Uh, that's that's a, that's a good thing, I guess. That that's good to see. You're a uh, person with two people. Didn't really see you up there until it was too late. Wow, you, these trainers are actually taking quite a while to do. Um, hope I can get to the next one. It's double quagsires. Oh god, that's 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 a thing. Um, well, I'm just gonna hydro can one of them. Actually, you might they might have. They, they might have that move that, like, the, the water absorb. So let's not do that, because I might regret it. And I'm just going to go for a Sludge Bomb, being my strongest possible move at the moment. Um, that should hopefully kill... Wow, oh, it's not very effective. Why? Poison's not very effective against grass or ground, I guess? I guess that would make sense. Huh. He's not aware of that. And meanwhile, Napoleon's just like, yo! I'm Napoleon. I'm just gonna one-shot this thing. And then Quagsire uses Rain Dance. Well, aren't you just cute and special and stuff? And I know I'm locked into Sludge Bomb, so I have to go for Sludge Bomb, which is unfortunate because I'm wasting PP, but whatever. And Napoleon outspeeds and kills it anyway, so it doesn't even matter. And I got the poison, which is totally useless, and the fact that, you know, it's dead anyway, so... At least being slightly, like, more angled than it usually is. It doesn't go at an angle, stealing Josh Jefferson quotes the end. Um, that's kind of funny. Oh, genius Apostate King. Two of my most reliable Pokemon. Sorry, other Pokemon, I just sort of made you feel bad. I am clearly a horrible trainer! The worst of all the trainers, but this is the end of the route, um... There's also PP up. I'm probably gonna use the PP ups like after I finish Kanto or something like that. Although honestly, at this point, I could use a PP up because most Pokemon have their full move sets right now. Like Absol's one doesn't, and um, and Polion actually doesn't because I'm going to replace Hydro Cannon with something else eventually. Speaking of Hydro Cannon, Hydro Cannon, um, I'll replace it with other stuff eventually when I get the TMs. If I get the TMs, I think I get the TM at some point um, that I'm thinking of. And, um, I know I'll replace, uh, Kitty's move with something else as well. Oh, there was more than one, than one Pokemon here. I, I was not aware of that fact. This is unfortunate. Means you did four damage to me. Whatever shall I do? I hope you don't have any more Pokemon than this. Hydro Cannon was, I thought, I thought I saw one Pokemon. I was horribly, horribly mistaken. Well, that is, that is unfortunate. But this should be a level up for Genius, and that is always a good thing. So, welcome to the World Level 51, Genius. I know it really doesn't make that big of a difference, but, um... Yeah, you have a bunch of Bonsleys. I caught a Bonsley. Did you know? I caught a Bonsley! It was pretty cool. Anyway. Moving on. 
Fine, we'll go around. Jeez. Jeez, you gotta be picky, don't you? Gotta be freaking picky. I know we're like 20 minutes in, so attempting another route seems like a bad idea. Although, how long is this route? Um, wow, it does seem fairly long. Actually, you know what? Let's, I'm gonna sneak around here and see. So we're just gonna go sneaky, sneak, sneak. Actually, we'll fight this. You know, we'll fight you. Hi. We're gonna fight you, then I'm just gonna run up there, see how long this route is, and see if uh, it seems feasible to do it in this video. And I guess we'll go from there. Alright, looks like a bunch of bird Pokemon. We know what that means. Um, this is why I'm not so afraid of Faulkner, because, like, Paws King of Choice Scarf, it's still he's still pretty good against bird types. He's durable enough to take a couple bird heads. He has the Poison Point. He has Thunderbolt and Ice Beam. So there's certainly options there, um, but at the same time, you know, those resistances are nice. Right now, the only one who has a resistance against uh, Faulkner is Empoleon, and obviously, you know, Empoleon with Ice Beams will do a lot, but he can also be worn down, you know, there'll be six on six battles, so you want to have the rest of the team be able to be up to snuff too, so... I rock that Faulkner is probably the one I'm worried about most. There's another guy over here. You know what? Let's just. I'm just gonna, it's a Suicune. Okay, you know what? Let's just go ahead and bow people instead, because I don't care about Suicune right now. Suicune can go Kuna Sui. Yes, indeed. That, that was totally a, a sensible sentence at all. Yeah. Basically, these next few episodes are just going to be a lot of the same, because, because it's just mostly going across all these Kanto routes with. Very little to no plot, which is unfortunate what this game's all about. And, like, if you were, like... See, the thing is about, with the Pokemon LP, is you kind of have to decide between, um... I don't want to Ice Beam a Squirtle. Seems like a terrible idea. Um, I'm just gonna head left and take the right care of the rest of this. I'll train Pasta King up later. Um, but the thing is about this is, um... What, what am I trying to say here? The thing about, you know, the Kanto routes is... Like, there's just really nothing... Oh, wait, wait, no, that, that has nothing to do with what I'm talking about. I was saying is, um, basically, the thing... <laughs> I totally lost my train of thought. That's hilarious. Um, the thing about, like, other Pokemon LP is, like, you know, they skip all the trade browse, which makes these sort of segments of the game go, like, ten times quicker. And I... Wait, I do wait... I know this is, like, a... I guess sometimes we're like, man, I have, like, the longest Pokemon Heart Gold LP ever. This is stupid. I, I like to be very thorough, and I, I figured, you know, showing off all the trainers individually without speed up would be the best way to go. At the same time, I'm sort of, like, regretting that decision now, in a, in a sense, because it's like, man, this is taking forever. Anyway, um, I'm trying to refresh myself on this route, but I might as, might as well take care of the Suicune segment right here. Nope, just don't go there. Press B. Thank you. Suicune! You're a Suicune! And is Usain going to show up out of nowhere now? Hey, you're running away! Yep, there's Mr. Usain. He's a guy. He's not afraid of anything, except for Suicunes. Um, okay, so you're going to be... Uh, it seems that Suicune prefers a hilly place near water. Somewhere north. That's going to give us a hint where uh, Suicune's going to end up towards the end. Okay, so how long is this route? It looks fairly long. So, I'll do like a couple more trainers, but we're not going to finish this route in this episode, unfortunately. Just because I don't want this to be like a 30, another 30 minute long video. Like, I'm trying to aim for like 25 minutes at this point, so, um, we'll do these next two, then I guess we'll start the episode off with those, that bunch of trainers over to the left, which will lead, as you can see, to the wild Pokemon patch, so we'll be catching that Pokemon. And then we still have two other routes to go, so I don't even know if I'm able to get all these routes in with the next few episodes, which is just unfortunate. This stretch of the game is just so ridiculous. But, um, what can you do? Mother, I do not like you. You're kind of annoying, really. All right. Moving on. We'll do one more. Then I'm going to call it a video. So hello, Mr. Guy. You're a bird trainer. You're actually pretty easy for PK to handle because I can just lock myself in on one move and eat all your faces. Except you only have one face, apparently. Um, and I also might want to consider going back and grabbing a bunch of more, po a bunch of uh, new Pokemon to raise um, on this route because everyone's going to be a 51 very soon. Which 
I might I might just go ahead and go back um, in between this video and the next and do that. You know what? I'm so close to leveling at Pasta King. Let's do one more battle. Then we'll call it a video. Just just so off screen I can then go and uh, just grab a whole bunch of new Pokemon. The, oh, the end of the route's over here. <sighs> yeah, let's just make it a long video and finish the route. Let's let's just let's just buckle down and do it. We may as well. There's no reason not to. Um, well, there's four trainers, and this is so like inconveniently timed. I guess we'll just do it. You know, if we have a long episode, we have a long episode. Although at the same time, I can go back now and grab a bunch of five five Pokemon. You know what? I'm so indecisive right now. Yeah, you know what? Oh. <laughs> I was like, I can totally pull off like a next time on Game Grumps here, because like that's what they use. Just like they don't have like ending points; they just sort of end it at random. But um, I'm at a good point where I just go back, grab five more Pokemon, and do these the rest of these routes next episode. So let's do that. So the next episode, guys, we finished up this route. We'll hopefully finish up the rest of these routes and make it to Lavender Town. So I'll see you guys next time. This is like a 70x signing out. Yeah, my outro is all backwards. Bye.